<sighs> little Sunday syrup. Hey guys, welcome to Charcoal King. Hey, today, one of my favorites. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting, and today is the day. It's a beautiful day in East Tennessee. Smoked buffalo wings on the grill. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, guys, so look, so this is the deal. I'm gonna make three batches. You guys know I love my Sweet Baby Ray's buffalo sauce. Love it, all right? Plus my wife, she likes a little bit on the milder side and we both agree we're not necessarily the biggest fan of like one of those things where you have to sign a waiver and eat and then you start sweating. That's not my style. But I was in the grocery store and I saw this and I said, what the heck, let's give it a try. So we're gonna try this out today, kind of compare the two. I haven't tried it personally, so it'll be interesting. I have some of this on hand. Um, it's one of the very few seasons that I've found that's very close to that traditional or typical buffalo style. Um, so if you guys can find that, I highly recommend that. Other than that, let's get to cutting these wings up because it's going to be a long day with these bad boys. All right, guys, so I've got two batches down. I just want to show you real quick how we do it. There's nothing really special. Just run a good sharp knife down it. You're going to split the two bones. Come back over here. It's a little bit more tricky. And then just like that. Sometimes you can get it just right down the bone and sometimes it's a little more tricky. So just follow, spread it out, follow your line, go right down it. Same thing with this. Are you gonna tell them why you're using a mermaid cutting board? Yeah, they know. It's my daughter's. All right, guys, we're gonna season these bad boys up. Before I do and get my hands all chickeny, I just open this bottle and I'm gonna give it a quick taste test to see if it's even worth it. I don't wanna ruin a whole pack of wings. Vinegary. Is it super hot? No, but I might like it a little better. I might ooh. better than I sweet might. baby rice. We'll see. Let's get started. All right, I already got some chicken wings in the bowl. We're going to uh, season these bad boys up. Now I've using this seasoning in the past, so I know what to expect. I think it's a little bit on the salty side, so I'm not going to add salt. I'm going to add just a little bit of. Uh, black pepper and I don't know if I can make a chicken wing without garlic don't ask me why I just like it I think when it cooks up on the on the grill and smokes it just gives you that extra crispiness so let's see some garlic and some black pepper the black pepper is going to hit you in a different note all right I'm not gonna season these wings heavily either. I wanna taste that sauce. All right, I'm gonna continue with this batch, get them all seasoned up. Our grill's about 300. We're gonna get these bad boys on the grill. All right, our grill's about 300. I got some hickory smoke on there. I got my fire all the way to the left. Look at that. Try to get them single layered. It don't matter if they're mounted up on each other. We'll keep rotating them. Let those bad boys go for about, I don't know, maybe for about an hour, like I said, render that fat out, keep moving them around, and then we'll come back in and show you guys what they look like. Been on the grill for about an hour, 15 minutes. As you can see, I've rendered a lot of the fat out. Most of these wings are about 99% cooked. I would guess that they're probably cooked all the way. My grill stayed about 300, 325. I just moved around about halfway through. We're gonna take them off. Sauce them, get the grill set up again, show you guys how to do that, and put them back on the grill. Guys, okay, so I got my wings separated in thirds. I'm gonna keep these uh, unsauced or dry because we're gonna free the, freeze these and we love them as leftovers. So it's a great way to, since you already got the grill started, you got everything out, go ahead and make an extra batch, put them in the freezer, take them out, re-sauce them, put them in the oven. Bueno. All right. Frank's Red Hot Sauce. This is how I like to do mine. We're gonna do two coats. The first coat, we're just gonna get a nice, even layer on them. Back on the grill. Now this time, we're gonna try to get the grill as hot as we can. We're gonna leave all of our air vents open because now we're gonna try to render more majority of the fat out. 
and try to get them crispy, get those edges lightly burnt. This one is gonna be Sweet Baby Ray's. You wanna do this while your wings are hot. That way it has the, the ability to absorb as much flavor as possible. All right, back on the grill. I will say another 35 to 45 minutes. I already got my Sweet Baby Ray's rack uh, side done. I'm working on my Franks. So basically my wings are done. You guys know that you got your hot spot on the grill and all I'm doing is just rotating my grill just a little bit, basically just playing with my meat. <laughs> <laughs> and just flipping them and then basically just flame kissing them right at the end. All that chicken fat just comes down, gets that coals nice and hot. And I'll just make a little bed of them over to the side off the heat. See that? Just gets them nice and crispy on there. It gets it real hot once again. My oven, my, I mean my oven. <laughs> my grill's been going for about another 35, 40 minutes. It's been hovering around 400 to 450. So just right where I want it. And that's, that's the whole point. You start them off, you cook them through, you reduce a lot of that fat, you, you render that fat out. Then you come back in, you sauce them, render a more fat out, and this is where they just get that final, just, mm, this goodness. Look at that. Look at those little, I mean, that's just sweet right there. While those are going, Put them back in our bowl. These were our first ones down. Our first ones down was what, Frank's? It was. Okay. Yep, so this is how I like to finish them off. Little Frank's. Toss them one more time. All right guys, so you know what it is. Game time, bite time, ready time. Mm. All right, so I know what the Sweet Baby Ray's tastes like, so I'm going right into the Franks first. Mm. Ooh, I like that Franks. Mm. All right, we might have a winner. Mm. Mm. That damn Franks is good. All right, Sweet Baby Ray might have a run for its money. More vinegary. Which one's spicier? Same. I think the Sweet Baby Ray's has more vinegar and the Frank's is more that pure 100% just like 100% no, no kidding around with flavor. Damn, they're good. Mmm. 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 -mm. All right, guys, there you have it. The Charcoal King Smoke Buffalo Wings. You can't beat it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound that notification button, share it with your friends, and we'll see you next time. Peace.